Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. So today we will discuss about how to delete an IDOC. How many ways are there in deleting the IDOCs? The first way is to delete an IDOC is by using the WE11 transaction code. So in WE11, we can uh, you see the title of this t code is delete idax so here we can enter the date range for which idax that has been created during this date range or if you want to delete based on message type basic type extension means we can give the message type basic type or if you want to delete in a specific idax then what we can do uh, let me open one existing idax then i will try to delete that Okay, let me copy this IDOC. It's an outbound IDOC. Okay, so what I will do? I will enter the IDOC number here. Right. So we can execute without giving the IDOC number, or if you want to specifically execute and delete any IDOC means, let's specify the IDOC number here. And if you scroll down, you see some options here, like uh, delete workflow data. Delete tier of C entries and application log and links. So let it be by default. It has been enabled. Let it let it be as it is. And if you see, there is one option here, test run. If you execute now, it will display. It's a simulation only, so it won't delete permanently. It's just a view only. How it will be after deleting the record? Okay. If you execute now, you can see that. The message type is INVOCN status zero two, IDAC is one, hmm. and uh, IDAC has built one. Workflows removed one. No application log, no links, right? And if I go back, if I remove this, and execute. Now it is asking that in an update run, all selected IDACs will be deleted permanently. Click on OK. It's uh, loading. Okay, it's loading for some time. So once it is executed, then you we can't see this IDAC in WE02. It's still running. Please bear with me. Now you see, it has been deleted. Update run has been performed. If I try to see the IDAC in WE02, I don't get the IDAC number here. You see, we don't have this option now. We don't see the IDAC now. It has been deleted, right? So this is the first way by using WE11. The second way is that we can use BD87 transaction code. BD87. We all know that BD87 will be used to process the failed IDAX, but it will help us to delete an IDAX also. Delete means it won't delete that uh, IDAX from the database table. It will uh, mark that as a deletion. Let me show you what I mean. I will take one existing IDAC from here, copy one IDAC here, and put it here and remove the dates.
okay it's running for a long time let it run okay, let me kill this okay let me open bd87 one more time give the direct number remove the date and execute now you see that attack has been here what we need to do select this status record then go to the menu edit then you see one option called restrict and process click this one and here we need to uncheck this important background if i execute now what will happen the status of the data will be updated to no further processing let me execute this and here i need to select the delete flag indicator just click this one click yes now what we see the message here add a flag for deletion currently the status of the add is 0 to if i double click this one you see 31 you see 31 31 means no further processing is allowed it's a it's a directly it's indirectly saying that it has been deleted so this is a done so it's an archive now kind of thing we can't do anything with this idoc similar way see it's an it's an outbound idoc so for outbound idoc no further processing means the message number is 31 in case of an uh, incoming idoc the message number will be 68 no further processing right so in a way in this way IDAC will be remain in the system, but uh, the IDAC is of no use. We can't do anything with the IDAC. We can't reprocess the IDAC also because it is updated as a no further processing. Right? So these are the two ways that we can use to delete any of the existing IDACs. Hope this video will be very helpful. We will meet in the next video. Thanks everyone.